good morning good afternoon and good evening depending upon where you are joining us from welcome to yet another exciting webinar from movi my name is shivashish and i'm your host for the evening to kick things off i would like to take the opportunity to give you a quick overview of movi first uh, founded in 2011 movi is headquartered in usa and was founded with a vision to disrupt the ott streaming market movi offers multiple streaming products that suit the need of any business of all shapes and sizes from small businesses to large enterprises movi's scalable and flexible streaming product portfolio can adapt to any type of streaming requirement from complete ott platform to fast channels from on demand streaming to live streaming from audio streaming to video streaming and from deploying websites to apps for mobile for mobile and tv ecosystems across 16 plus platforms movie can do it all in a matter of few clicks and hours all out of the box today we stand as one of the leading players in the streaming platform provider space with our flagship product movie one rated as the number one ott platform on g2 and our live streaming product movie life awarded as the best live streaming product of 2022 by the readers of the streaming media magazine movie continues to scale and deliver not just in its features but also in its services to its customers now coming back to the today's topic for discussion as businesses continue to adapt to the ever changing landscape of the modern world corporate training has become an essential component of organizational success With the rise of remote work and distributed teams, the need for effective online training and certification programs has never been more critical. In this webinar, we will be exploring the benefits of creating your own corporate training and certification portal with the help of Movi's e-learning solution. So whether you are looking to upskill your employees, create an online certification program, or simply provide convenient and accessible training material to your workforce this webinar will provide you valuable insights and actionable steps to help you achieve your goal and to talk about its deployment in detail i have with me mr rahul rawat who is a product manager at movi and is responsible for the management of e learning chat and ali products he has completed his mba with specialization in information systems analytics and marketing He has diversified experience in working on applications in the healthcare, fintech and OTT industries. So over to you Rahul. And before we all get started, this is for all our viewers. You can keep posting your questions in the Q&A box and Rahul will answer all your doubts towards the end of this presentation. Over to you Rahul. Thank you Shivashi for the introduction and providing me the opportunity to be the speaker for this webinar. Uh, so we will be today covering a very important topic which is uh, very important for any organization that is remote corporate training. Uh starting with the brief uh any training in simple terms which happens online can be termed as a remote corporate training. Uh remote corporate training is a must and it's an important part for learning and development process uh, basically it is aimed at people who work from home or remotely or at from the different places uh, it can be delivered through virtual classes online courses podcasts webinars and other e learning tools uh further uh, based on the deliveries and some specifications uh, e learning corporate training can be divided into synchronously or asynchronous occurrences so what is synchronous occurrences uh when your corporate training is happening at the same time at the different places and we have a group of learners so the basic example is the live webinar which we are holding right now uh some instant messaging virtual classrooms live polls and etc uh asynchronous is slightly opposite uh it is something like happens at the different time at the same place uh this is a major way with an organization which goes for uh when i say at the same place uh, it means an on- online learning platform so you have an online learning platform and your employees at different times they just at the same place that is an online learning platform to gather the information and to upskill their knowledge so it is typically self based and uh, 
the examples are online courses recorded videos lessons forums etc moving forwards let's talk about some facts uh, we all should be agree with all these facts that uh, the there in next 5 years there would be a 200% increment in the number of remote employees uh, as we all know the dropbox spotify or slack already have the forever remote policy with them and several organizations are opting for the hybrid work models uh, 67 to 70% of remote workers feel deprived of these trainings in such circumstances and want more training for their from their employers so uh, we can say that it's more vital than ever currently in such situation to have a solid structure in place for training remote employees we basically as an organization can get in dilemma that uh, do we really require some remote corporate training or do is it just a waste of money for us so uh, in the next slide will contain several statements so if any of the statements fits uh, to your organization then you do require it so the statements are like this so some of your employees work remotely if they do then you require corporate training engagement is you feel that uh, uh, your remote teams have a low engagement then you require some remote corporate training uh, if your hiring plan includes uh, more remote employees in the future then do you do require it uh, if you are transitioning or if you have fully transitional to operate fully remotely then you require it and if you have a teams of employees who have to work from different location on a regular basis then you do require it so basically corporate training was a need and it's already uh, with uh, mncs from uh, few years but this cor uh, corona pandemic had made it more vital for the corporates to go for it uh, so need, it's needless to say that remote corporate training will have some benefits. Uh, so I just try to put some of the benefits which a remote corporate training uh, could provide for to the organization. It actually ensures an l and continuation in the times of disruption. So employees actually can continue to improve their skills and knowledge in events of such transitions. Boosting employee productivity. Uh, so if you have the first, uh, if your employees are skilled and they have the knowledge, then automatically they, you can consider that your productivity can be increased. It is more affordable in comparison to the on-premises training because it eliminates or significantly minimizes the on-site cost. That's why organizations are actually moving towards it. And it improves the knowledge retention. So basically, uh, every employee can revisit the training uh, numerous times and in different formats. Uh, it is said that uh, every person has a way uh, to accumulate knowledge. Uh, they prefer, some prefer a different mode and some prefer a different mode. For example, a person can prefer a video over an audio ebook to learn more. And they have the grasping power, more grasping power by listening. Some might have the more grasping power by listening to an audio rather than watching a video. Some might have the more grasping power in just reading uh, the content. So basically, uh, every employee is a different. So that's why uh, the different formats will provide an improved knowledge retention. So basically, if it's planned and executed successfully, the benefits of remote training are great and will extend company-wide. Moving forward, uh, let's say we have decided uh, okay fine uh, we will go for the corporate training then what are the best practices that we will should be looking for if we are going for it uh, so so basically i have listed on few of them uh, these are the most vital ones uh, use your e-learning corporate training platform should provide a varied variety of training formats uh, so as i said in the previous slide uh, that every employee has a different grasping uh, ability as per the video formats or audio formats or the PDF PPT. So your platform should be able to provide uh, videos as a learning material, audios as a learning material, PDF PPT even as a text as a learning material. Uh, you should be actively able to measure the effectiveness uh, by providing some assessments, by providing some quizzes and you should be able to certify the performance of your employees. So these 
actually relates with the features uh, uh, if you are looking for some partner then you should be looking for these features as well uh, basically if you can make uh, your learning path or if your platform more uh, self paced it would be great uh, so by self paced i mean uh, employee can re revisit your platforms can learn the videos watch the videos watch the audio books can give the exam as per their convenience so it gives them a place where they can go and learn more as per their convenience and the last but not the least uh, choosing a right remote training software partner so we all agree that there are uh, there would be many solutions available in the market uh, but you have to choose the end to end solution which provides the back end which provides the front end which provides the features that are actually you require which provides the features that actually make sense and makes your e learning portal complete so movi have a e learning solution we have built an e learning solution to provide for the corporate training a few corporates are already using it uh, so what exactly movi brings for you uh, if you i'll just explain in the next slide so you can create courses chapters lessons uh, via movi you can create the assessments you can create you have a dedicated you will have a dedicated website uh, a front end that would be provided with the system uh, we can certify and our employees uh, we have the multiple formats we support the multiple formats audio video ppt pdf text etc so, so you can come by you can is uh, provide the courses in one format you can provide the corporate courses in the hybrid format whatever you like we have the grading system when combined with the create assessment it will help uh, an organization to evaluate, evaluate their employees uh, live classes and webinars can be conducted the live classes can be live streams can be one way and two way as well plus 100 plus features like geo restriction content partner portal user generated content so we movie provides a lots of features combined with this basic feature so movie e learning solution uh, i can say is a one step stop place for all remote corporate training needs i'll just provide that how uh, the cms looks like uh, this is how the cms uh, looks like i'll give a slight demo a short demo of our product as well so this is the cms you can see the courses are created back at the back end uh, you can have the assets you can playlist you can get the feature section these are the content library you can add the chapter these are the it courses learning videos etc category wise uh, here you can provide the quizzes uh, it can be single choice multi choice in future it could be text based on images etc that can be assigned to the courses this is the front end we are talking about so this is the fully customizable front end uh, this is the front end we provide uh, you can customize and organization can customize as per their need this is our syllabus page where the whole syllabus is listed down you can see what is the estimated time uh, what is required in the courses the basic description of the course and the whole syllabus plus we have the instructor page as well so this is a well designed uh, website or the front end i will say this is where the course navigation flow works. Uh, so you can see that we have the quizzes over here. It's a sample. So that's like just a sample for corporate training. You had two chapters, two lessons, finance, HR, basics of HR has been taken. And then you have this quiz. This is the quiz is the question one. So you have completed this chapter and then corporate quiz comes to you. So this is an example for that. I'll just give a brief demo about our product. Uh, just a minute. So this is how uh, our backend looks. Uh, this is the uh, backend we have. We have made it as a demo product. This is the analytics we show that you can see that uh, content library as a course is a trending content feature section. How to add subscription plans is content. One movie on administrator is a content, and all the views over here. So basically, you can move to the content library and create courses over here using add content. So I won't show how to create the courses. I'll just show that these are the courses which are already made. We can expand it. Uh, you will see that movie one CMS admins had add chapters, 18 lessons and content management have four lessons, website customization, three lessons, 
what are the lessons we have so these are the content library asset library feature section content setting these are the lessons we have so this is a product training then you have an option to add chapter when it's clicked a uh, chapter will be added uh, i want to assign a certificate and let's say a quiz to it then i'll go to the manage course option this will load you can see hr induction hr induction hr induction uh, actually i clicked this one i'll go to the finance induction i'll go to the manage course Yes, I think some back end work is going on. Okay, I'll go to this course, this manage course. So whole courses, and uh, you can see the whole course over here. So this is the course we have, uh, Movie One CMS. This is the chapters. You can add a quiz from here. You just have to click quiz title, uh, answer type, single choice, multiple choice, add answer, add questions, and you have to select the right answer. So this is. how it is we have the quiz settings assign passing grade then we can create a certificate and assign to this particular course this is how the courses and certificates are assigned from the back end uh, then we have a home page uh this is the website which we provide with it yeah after clicking on visit website we reach this website over here so basically this is the sample website we have uh, all the your courses are look over here uh, if i'll click on this view detail page i'll go to the syllabus page where i can see that this is the course this is the thumbnail we have uh, this course will require this much time it has time quiz it eight chapters 18 lessons and something like that so this is how it is uh, we can play it as well i have to sign in in this i'll just sign in so if i sign it this is uh, i have because i have left this particular content over here so i will get this options uh, then the, i can see the employee training courses i will go to the product training i'll see what the courses over here i'll go to the view detail page move on to the i'll i'll resume it so this is the course navigation page we have the chapters will be i'll just note it out you can see that uh, you can uh, and user can expand it and see that a quiz is associated with this content library thing and this chapter has three quizzes already this is the sec third chapter fourth chapter and then we have the about this course for an overview of this particular course so this is how our end to end solution works so we have the cms we have the very good front end we have everything which is required for a journey yeah uh so that's it from my side uh over to you shivashish then uh thank you rahul it was indeed a very informative session now uh before we start with the q and a uh there'll be a few polling questions that will come on your screen uh i request the audience to answer them and uh, uh, we'll start with the q and a So Rahul the first question is uh, coming from uh, Mr Daniel he says that he wants to know that which feature according to you makes the e-learning platform more capable uh thank you shivashi thank you daniel for asking it um actually uh, if i'll be truthful there is not a sing not a one feature that makes the e-learning more capable there are set of it uh there are many features that combines and then create a e learning platform that will actually be helpful for a corporate but if we give the priority one that what should be we be looking for a single uh, feature that should be prioritized first then i'll say ability to offer multiple formats of the learning content like pdfs uh, like uh, ppt like text uh, like videos audios and any other images as a learning material so that makes uh, our e learning uh, platform more scalable and more useful i hope this answers uh, your question daniel the next question comes from sara uh, she wants to know that what should be the factors uh one should consider while choosing the e learning platform for corporate training needs uh 
so the factors as i explained earlier uh, in the that what should be the best best practices as such so you have to choose a complete end to end solution so basically uh, it should be not like uh, we are going for the back end or we are going for the front end we don't have this particular feature it's not supported in the front end it should not be like this so every platform which we choose uh, should be should be having a end to end solution to it uh, that is you should be having a back end associated with it you should be having a multiple content formats and those formats should be associated as as the supported as the front end and you should be having a scalable front end as well for that particular platform yeah thank you rahul uh, we have another question uh, this one is coming from uh, rahul surprisingly <laughs> So Rahul wants to ask Rahul. Uh, recently, remote remote corporate training saw a huge demand. So, what do you think will be that demand continue to rise, or do you see it decline any soon? Uh, so, Shivaji, uh, remote training was always there. Uh, it was always uh, residing in the most of the MNCs from few years, like uh, uh, the Accenture, Google. Every MNC has had that. so it was already there uh, yeah but uh, the thing is it was not that perfect uh, which we can call it as a remote corporate training so it was more on the on premises the need was always there but it got realized due to due to this pandemic and once any need gets realized then it's very hard for uh, us to for for an organization to not to, achieve that particular thing so basically i see it will keep on increasing the need will keep on increasing every organization which is coming in the future will have it as a major aspect though the format of content delivery or the learning material delivery may change but the need would be there i hope this answers your query uh, we have uh, one more question this one is coming from paul and he uh, he wants uh, can you demonstrate how your quizzes work from an end to from an end user perspective he is interested in understanding uh, when they become available or get triggered okay uh, so for that i'll just go back to the way i showed it uh, so basically uh, our uh, we take this the example of this particular course that is running over here I have assigned few uh, quizzes at content management. This content library, asset library, feature section, content settings. Then let's say in monetization. For every lessons, I have the quiz over here. So basically, what will happen uh, for ev- after completion of every lesson, a particular quiz that is assigned to it will work. So let me go to here. No. so this is a uh, content library video lesson which is going on once it gets completed we gets the content library quiz so this quiz will appear after this content library uh, it got skipped as of now because uh, we are just working at the back end that but that is how it it will work over here so it's also if one can want to access this particular uh, quiz he can click over here and access it so you can see once this is over the content library quiz will work i'll give another example uh, the example will be if we have only let's say one course and one chapter and one lesson to it just let me show yeah so we have the finance induction course already over here uh, so i'll go uh, over here i'll search for this go to the employee training we'll go to the this finance induction go to the due details i'll just play so this is how the finance induction is going on so this is the chapter we had let's say go for it 21 84 and 
as soon as it is completed we will get the finance merchant code So this is how you can start this particular quiz over here. Uh, first of everything, what is the salary per day in Mopi or something like that. So this quiz and you have the next option over here. So this is how the quiz gets triggered. It's getting triggered after financial induction on the lessons. You can assign it to the chapters, even to the uh, courses level as well. Uh, I hope this answers your query, Paul. We have another question coming from Shashank. Shashank wants to know that uh, how does your platform help in generating the content or is it a content holding platform? Uh, yeah, basically, it's a mostly you can see the courses and certificates are getting generated. A PDF is also we provide, you can call it as a holding platform. So because uh, we do not provide any a uh, portion to create you a video but apart from holding we do have the cdn with us so for delivery we all provide a content delivery network uh, to you uh, we have a drm uh, that will have to have the security for your courses uh, we do have encoding profiles that will help uh, that video that is made at a low pixels can get delivered at the higher pixels. So what we do is you just have to bring your videos to us and we will help you to manage everything with that. So you have to bring your PDF, you have to bring your text, you have to bring your audios and you just have to upload it and we will circulate it uh, in your front end, we will circulate it everywhere you want with added security plus enhanced features. That's how it works. Mm, I hope this answers your uh, doubt, Shashank. So uh, this was the last question and this concludes our session for today. Thank you, Rahul, for joining in. Thank you, so sir. Now, Movie keeps conducting these webinars every month on some interesting industry topics and also show to showcase some of Movie's best offerings. I would personally request all our viewers to keep a lookout for our social media channels and the websites for the registration link for the upcoming webinars. Once again, thank you for tuning in and allowing us to present you uh, with this webinar. As a small token of appreciation, we would like to give you an informative brochure to view later on Movies e-learning module. This is uh, and also uh, the next webinar would be on 14th of June and it will be on exploring the different types of users on the streaming platform. This is your host Shivashish signing off. Uh, sorry, uh, I, we have one more question. The last question comes up uh, Rahul. So, it's from Nekisha Lewis. Uh, she wants to know, is this a different pricing from your standard pricing? Um, yeah, uh, it would be uh, additional, uh, some additional pricing will be applied to it. Uh, apart from the standard, we uh, charge a minimal of $1.199 price to it. So $399 plus $199 would be the final cost that will cover for this e-learning solutions because it has some added security, added formats, added modules. So apart from a standard, we charge $1.199 and it works as an e-learning solution for you. Mm, I hope this answers uh, your question, Nagesha. So uh, once again, thank you for tuning in and allowing us to present you with this webinar. And we have... Uh, attached an informative brochure in the comments which you can read later on movies e-learning module uh, for uh, our future webinars the next webinar is going to be on 12th of june and it will be on exploring the types of users on this on a streaming media platform so this is your host shivashish signing off have a great day everyone thank you